Hi, I'm Bonnie Holub, and welcome to this tutorial video on RapidMiner, installing RapidMiner. This video shows you how to install the RapidMiner software. So the first thing you have to do is go to the RapidMiner site, which is www.rapid-i.com. And at this site, you'll see choices for lots of different things here. Um, this is where you can get the documentation for RapidMiner and the manual. I encourage you to do that. But for right now, we're going to do a download here, and we're going to download RapidMiner. And then we'll go to uh, the place where you can download the Community Edition, which is these downloads, that's what you want. Sometimes you get a choice between Community and Enterprise. Uh, this is the uh, edition that you buy if you're buying it for a company where you want services and guarantees and support. The community edition is the one that you use if you're a student learning how to use this or trying it out. You need to choose the right one for your machine. So I'm going to choose Windows 64. And then there's a form that needs to be filled out with more information. They need to know who's downloading their software. I'm going to pause the video so that you don't have to watch me type this all out. Okay, I have read the privacy policy and I agree to that and then I'm going to proceed with the download. This transfers you to the SourceForge site where the downloads are stored. And then, because I am in Firefox for my browser, you'll see the downloads starting to appear here. So my browser prompts me, do you want to save this? And I'm going to save the file. This file download can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to seven to ten minutes depending on your connection to the internet and how busy it is. So be patient. Okay, now it's finished downloading and I'm going to go ahead and run it. And my computer is very careful about this, so it says it's unrecognized application. I'm going to run it anyway and install it. And it makes sure that I can do it on my computer. And the setup wizard, you'll want to look over the license agreement and make sure that you agree with it. And then I always use the default location so I can find things later. Again, I'm going to pause this so you don't have to watch all of this happen. Okay, now the installation is complete, so I can go ahead and finish and close and close this. And now I can go into my Rapid Miner. This is the home screen or landing page, however you want to think about it for Rapid Miner. In Rapid Miner terms, this is called the Welcome Perspective. When you first enter Rapid Miner, if you haven't been already using a default repository, it will ask you to name a default repository. Here are some repositories down here. You can see I did one. It was called UST Underbar Local Repository. A repository is just a name of a file folder into which your programs and your results are going to be put. So just come up with a name. I could have used Bonnie's first repository or this is my first repository. Just give it a name and that's where your files will go to get started. The Welcome Perspective is one of three perspectives in RapidMiner. If we go under the menu for View, then we choose Perspectives. We see there's Design, Results, and Welcome. This is the Welcome um, Perspective, but we could switch to the Results Perspective or the Design Perspective. What you're going to be doing is designing your programs in the Design Perspective, running them there, and then you'll go to the Results Perspective to look at them and view the results. Another way that you can switch is on the screen. Do you see that there's an icon of a tablet with a pencil on it? That would switch you to the design perspective. There's another icon that looks like a bar chart on a three tripod base, or I'm sorry, a line chart on a three legged base. And that's the switch to the results perspective. So if you want to see the results, you go there. And if you want to come back to the welcome perspective, you come here. Down here is the online tutorial, and uh, the second video tutorial in this series goes through how to run these tutorials and how to learn about what's going on by using those. 
So let's just take a look at these two other perspectives so you get a chance to see them. Choose the design perspective. Here you can see that you have choices over here. Here are your repositories. These are all the folders that you have. And so if you've established a repository, you should see it in there. Or you can switch to operators. And then you have this main process area. If you open one of your categories of operators, for example, uh, I can go into the utility files and I can say open file. I will drag that, click on it, and drag it over here to the main process area. And you'll see that that's how I get the operator to fill a file. Over here on the right, you will see a resource uh, where it is the file file information and then you can put the file name in here. So this is how you start to build programs in RapidMiner. But before you do that, it's probably useful for you to look at some of the online tutorials that are back here in the Welcome Perspective and Video 2 in this series describes that.